All right, crew. Uh, welcome to this little tutorial here. So we can see I have uh, an image, a black line image of an old house. Uh, we can see the angles are fairly extreme. Uh, I want to first of all note that they're not vertical. So that's going to throw it a little bit off on this, but that's going to be what we're going to find generally. Um, but we'll pers persevere with the technique. So the idea is to convert this image uh, and analyze this image and deconstruct this image so we can understand how to recreate that using a perspective. So what we need to do, first of all, is to find our horizon line. That's usually, that's usually the first thing that we'll do, uh, but we, we don't know where that is yet. So one way to find out is to select, and I'm going to get three different color pencils to identify um, our two, our three different lines here. So the first one is going to be a pink line on the diagonals. Um, now this is not stuck down. Uh, we will be sticking this down onto the page. Uh, it needs to be a smaller image on the page because often the vanishing points go off this uh, central image um, and we uh, sort of use these extensions uh, in a sense. Okay, so here's a diagonal line at the bottom uh, with that sort of downstairs area. And then we can see that there is where they intersect. Okay, now this is going to be slightly off. Um, if I did it strictly, it'd probably be around there. Uh, but because these walls tip in a little bit, that is actually a three point perspective drawing uh, that we technically we should be using. Uh, but I'm just going to sort of modify this one. And I'm just going to make that go to that vanishing point. So it's good to identify um, two large lines, structural lines. Um, and I could have done this one and that one. It doesn't really matter that I did the bottom uh, and identify a vanishing point over here. Okay. Uh, so it should be uh, now seeing that this kind of goes there. It's not as strict. Now, the bottom of this triangle, that breaks our rule. Uh, but where the bottom of the triangle is, that should be in alignment. Okay. Of course, if we're going to do a triangle, we'll identify this, that angle to the vanishing point, go straight up from the middle. So identify the middle here, go straight up. And then we're breaking the rule here to, to do that. Now, that doesn't have to be in pink. It's just an example. All right. So let's just identify on the other side with a new color, blue, just to contrast that, uh, the other vanishing point. So I'm just going to do a long line there. I'm going to identify this line here. This I'm using this rather than that. Of course, that's a little bit different. Uh, and I'm going to find the intersection over here. Okay. Now, when I've got a couple of lines like this, and let's just do the roof line here. This triangle again is going to be off. It's pretty good. Not too bad. Um, this drawing is appropriate in a sense. I'll call this appropriate for the task. So I've got a couple of lines that intersect at both sides. Now we can identify, I'm going to just use simple gray lead for this uh, horizon line from that. Okay. Okay. So now we have our horizon line in gray. Okay. And our two. VPs. Okay, so from this, we should be able to quickly uh, be able to uh, get another piece of paper and start to sketch up this drawing. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I do freehand and I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to take this away. I'm going to observe this drawing uh, from the side. I'm going to really quickly draw that frame. Okay. I'm going to put where that photo was. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. As long as uh, the extensions are going to fit, uh, that's what's going to count. Okay. I might have done it even too far aside. Very quickly here. The bell is about to go. But we'll persevere through. It's okay. 
we're not trying to get millions of likes here on YouTube, we're just trying to get basic understandings for our particular class. There we have it. Now, if I look back at that original uh, analysis, the horizon line is quite low, okay, which means our bird's eye view position is low. Oh, sorry, the eye level is low, um, and we're looking up, and that's true. So I'm going to mark where that VP was on either side, and they were quite wide. This one is a bit close to that frame. And then I'm going to start with finding that first corner. Okay, the corner that was closest to us uh, on the building. Okay, just going to put that here. So I'm going to be looking at that one here um, and then using the angles to find the other sections. All right, it goes below and up about there. Now, this is just a sketch, uh, so I can go back and modify it. I'm not going to rule things out. I'm just going to very quickly uh, create a sketch um, with light lines, especially on these lines that will get cut off and rubbed out later. All right, so here I'm just going to put this side of the box for the building, and then I'm going to continue, okay? Uh, all right, so we have kind of what we call an extrusion slightly. So I'm looking at this part here, this part here, and then this box goes to about that length. Now this is going to be uh, slightly different to what the photo is, just because I'm going quickly in the proportions, etc. Uh, but technically it will be correct, okay, in terms of being a two-point perspective rendering of that image. All right. I'm going to show you the image in a minute so you'll see where I'm working at. But notice how I'm using the top of the box there to get my verticals. If my horizontals are straight, that should be fine. So there's a bit of a doorway in this section here. There's a bit, there's some archways, which I won't go into at the moment, but I'll quickly do. Simply, I'm finding the center of this spot, the center of that spot. This could be more instruction on this but at this stage we just would we'll go with this basic freehand perspective archway okay so let's see what we've done so far in a fairly short amount of time you can see i've worked on this area this area we've got that section up top so it's good to map out now we wouldn't go into any more details uh good to map out the whole image the whole building the major parts of it okay so that these lines are a bit too long that's fine i'm just going to go up all right just looking back here put this line here now this is quite an angle trust the process people um, this is where you'll be tempted to break the rules at your detriment Okay, that's uh, our brain often tells us no, that angle's too extreme. All right, but it is mathematically true to life, in fact. Uh, some art is, especially this be an architect uh, stuff, is so quickly mapping out the top of that building here. You can see the proportions is slightly different. But we're moving, okay? And of course, we've got this line here. And then we can take that down there. Notice I'm, I'm allowing for the eaves to come out later. Um, we've got to add the roof section here. We've got to add this area up the top, of course. So look quickly at the proportions. Kind of jo joins in about here. Just a real quick sketch here. It's about halfway down in between here, I'm going to guess. Now, we're not looking for mathematical proportion, uh, you know, scale. Um, we're doing a, a simple translation here um, into two-point perspective um, as best as you can. And it's a sketch that you'll then go back, refine, and trace to come up with a final uh, nice line drawing of this image, okay?
So there you can see there's a start uh, to our two-point perspective drawing. Get in it, get amongst it, try it out, and we'll see you later.